Um, as I just mentioned, this is the North American premiere of the film. The film was just uh, premiered at the Venice Film Festival in the Horizonte section, where it won the jury prize. And uh, I was very fortunate to be part of, a, in fact, to be invited to a private screening of this film in its late stages of production in the spring. And I have to say it was one of the most visceral, disturbing, intense, and also thought-provoking films. It raised issues that are vast and um, ranged from uh, issues of dignity, monstrosity, and also issues of representation. And it's something that lingered with me for a very long time. And uh, the two filmmakers you will know from their work with the Sensory Ethnography Lab, they were here with their film Leviathan in 2012. I have great admiration for them, not only as filmmakers, but as thinkers and scholars, <laughs> and I'm really happy they're here for this premiere. So please welcome Verena Paraval and Lucien casting -Taylor. First, it's a very uh, strange film for us because this is the first time we shot a film without understanding anything uh, that was said. So it was a very a strange process. Um, and this is the first time we're making a comedy. And, um, <laughs> <and> so, <laughs> um, I, I know that it's complicated for uh, some people. So there is a scene that are complicated to watch. You can close your eyes. This is the first time also that we have a producer who cannot watch the film we're making. Um, uh, yeah, and that's the first time we're making a film with people talking, even though they're they're not they're not very loquacious. But uh, hopefully we will uh, talk about the film after. Thank you. I'm not going to say enjoy the film. This is like a what led you there. Um, it's, a, it's a long story, I'm not sure everything is super interesting, but we were uh, making uh, a project in, in Japan. It was a commission from a French uh, art foundation, uh, and uh, we were supposed to make a, a, a piece about uh, Fukushima and the disaster. And uh, it was uh, the moment where we we're still thinking about it and we were not sure we were able to because it was a very complicated uh, topic. And uh, while we were in Japan to do some research and to do this project, uh, we, we were super interested and also sent to a, a Harvard professor who is specialist in Pinkuega, who is teaching there. And, um, and he told us a lot about uh, this genre that only exists in Japan. Uh, which is this genre of uh, soft porn, uh, super interesting shot. Uh, the whole economy is interesting, the whole history is also interesting. And then we started to meet with some um, Pinko Iga director. And uh, among all the directors we met there, uh, we were uh, really interested in one in particular, uh, who is considered like one of the craziest of all, uh, called Sato Isayasu. And by uh, coincidence, uh, we realized that, so we talked to his, uh, Sato Isayasu and we were interested in may maybe making our own version of Pinkuega because it's also a genre that is um, on the, how do you say that in English? Uh, on, keep, keep a, that is going to disappear. Um, on the verge of disappearance. On the verge of disappearance, thank you. And, um, and we realized that uh, Issei Sagawa was acting in one of his films, or two of his, his film. And Issei Sagawa, for me, was a figure uh, of my childhood, because I was 10 when uh, he, 
he did his crime in Paris, and uh, so when you're a ten year old, uh, it's uh, really resonate. Um, and uh, and so we we talk with Sato for a while, and then uh, we decide to um, to produce a film. Uh, and we did produce a film uh, by Sato Isayasu in in which uh, Mr. Sagawa is acting and uh, and not really actively uh, because he's as you see he's, he's sick and um, and old now and um, and this is how we got to know uh, Sagawa San and um, and we we were interested in him because he's a uh, there's not a lot of uh, cannibal who are that willing to to talk about their desire, and we realize making some research about um, about about him, uh, we realized that uh, he was portrayed uh, most of the time as this oriental monster, and uh, with uh, and there's no in all the story of representation of cannibalism. There's everybody's interested in. in interested in the act, uh, but never really seriously about the cannibalistic desire. And, and, and we wanted to try that. Um, and, uh, and also to, to, to have a real collaboration with him rather than imposing yet another time uh, our... So we started to discuss with uh, Isei-san and, uh, and then Sagawa-san, I don't know how. And uh, and that was the beginning of our collaboration. Uh -huh.